tell you now you guys should all um, have finished designing your very own balloons for the parade, which is so exciting. Um, but before we start building, there's one more piece of this project that we want to look at before moving on. Um, so tomorrow, we're going to build these balloons. And after they're built, we're going to ask you to record a video of your balloon floating down a hallway or across a room. Um, you know, just like the real balloons do in the Macy's Day Parade. Um, and then once that's done, we're going to edit all of those videos together to make our very own epic Thanksgiving Day Parade. But we want our parade to be as authentic as possible, right? So I think we should watch a quick clip of a Macy's Day Parade to see if we can catch anything that would make our parade a little better. What do you think? I think that's a great idea. All right. I'd love to see yes. what happens. All right, so I'm going to share my screen. Okay. Let's check this out. Turkey! <laughs> and making his annual pilgrimage and turkey trotting through the city, the centerpiece of tonight's dinner table, Tom Turkey. Here's an estimation. 46 million turkeys will be gobbled up in America by the end of this day. And rounding out the trimmings is Sandra Lee, author and Emmy Award winning television host and home and entertainment expert. And you can be sure she's going to cook up something amazing a little later today. All right. Look it sweet. sounds like the person is talking all about Tom the turkey. Yeah, it does. He's giving us information as Tom is going up the street and as he's blowing in the wind a little bit and the people controlling him. What is that called? Called a commentary. I challenge each of you to write your own commentary for your float. So that way, the epic Thanksgiving Day Parade commenters can give the audience some information all about your balloon float. All right, guys, I really want to see what the, comment the commenters have to say about Charlie Brown. So let's watch. Let's check it out. All tangled Ooh, up trying to fly I as high as that good in. man Charlie Hello. Brown making his first appearance in over 10 years. Charlie Brown, of course, the main protagonist from the comic strip Peanuts, has returned to show off his second historic and all-new balloon. He's done well recently. He was recently the star of the mega-hit film The Peanuts Movie and is now headed down 34th Street celebrating the popular show You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown, which is gearing up for its 50th anniversary in 2017. Right. So what kind of stuff did you notice they talked about? I noticed they talked about things that Charlie Brown was in. Hmm. So things he's featured on, like the kind of show that he was in and the movie that he's in. Absolutely. That's a good so, one. So what he's known for, where he's from. Yeah, what makes him notable. Yeah. So I'm going to write Charlie Brown. All right. So they talked about... He was from the Peanuts, right? The Peanuts show. He's a good man, Charlie Brown. That's why they decided to air him again. Yeah, yeah. If there's a new movie coming out, we mentioned that. Yeah. Movie. Well, they also said something about how this is the first time he oh, was here. And like he's been years. there for 10, he's reappearing after 10 years. Yes, that's what they said. Yeah. They are reappearing. That's a good bit of show. good little tidbit of information. Reappearing at parade. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. And also, I noticed when he was going, I almost said walking up the street, when he was floating. floating up the street, that they were like, oh, he's coming down. They just grabbed, they just said something that got their the audience's attention immediately. Absolutely. Yeah, they're like describing what's happening. Yeah, yeah, getting, yeah absolutely. So, this is what we know about Charlie Brown. And I think maybe, I think we should watch one more. One more? I think we should watch one more. One more. Ideas. Coming up. Hmm, I wonder who's next. All right, let's see. Uh, ooh, look who this is. Let's check. 
and let's listen to what we hear the commenters say. time for the third year in a row is the most famous steam engine of all time thomas the tank engine he's been a busy little guy with the books the videos and his thomas and friends animated series on pbs kids and yt kids with thomas and the lead children experience timeless life lessons of discovery and of course cooperation in this year's movie the great race thomas was joined by trains from around the world well he continues on track right here inviting all children to help him set friendship in motion by saying all aboard let the sun shine in from lithium all right megan i see you uh riding away over there what kind of information did you hear them give us about thomas the take engine yeah i just took it upon myself to take some notes so i wouldn't forget the great family. and i wrote down thomas's name and then i heard them say what thomas is thomas mm. the tank engine is from a children's show that mm. inspires people to value friendship Nah. Oh, I like that. So, okay. So I took some of the traits that, that they idea. expressed and I wrote them down Cool. because I think those are definitely some things that we can say. Like one of my examples that I'm thinking of is Stella Luna. Look at that back flapping down the, the road of New York City. She is really giving off vibes of bravery, friendship, and flying in to being a good friend. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I was thinking maybe you and I right now can write your commentary for your Clifford balloon. Oh my gosh, that sounds like such a good idea. Ooh, spilling markers. All right, I'm so excited. New page. <laughs> New page. <laughs> All right. All right. So where do you think we should start? Well, let's take a look at our notes. Yes. So we said that we can write about them appearing in the parade, what they're known from. Yeah. So Clifford. I wrote down some Clifford traits already. And some of those traits were, were that he was curious, that he was kind, that he valued friendship. So, Katie, if you see a big red dog balloon yeah. flying through your hallway. <laughs> what are you going to say about it? Um, I might say something like to get their attention, like, oh, like, here comes, um, here come, uh, well, uh, oh, we really got to think about this. That big red dog. The big red dog. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> here comes that big red dog. In that way, everyone will be looking around like, where? Where's that big red dog? There he comes! All right, here comes that big red dog. Beautiful. Now, do you think we should introduce his name? Yeah. Here comes that big red dog from that notable children's show and book. Book Clifford. series. Book even. series. Yeah. Yeah. Clifford the Big Red Dog. Love it. Love it. So we'll start with this is like an attention grabber. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And attention grabber. And then we're going to give a little quick history about Clifford. Clifford, from that show and book series, right? Mm -hmm. From that show, what did I say after that? And book series. And book series. Can we think of anything past that? I think that's I don't think so. Bad. All right. So what other information can we? So here comes a big red dog. They did say that Thomas values friendship. Maybe we can talk about something that something Clifford that values. Um, but yeah, values and represents. Yeah. Maybe that he like represents friendship, like unlikely friendship or something along those totally lines. Totally unlikely friendship because of the friendship between him and Emily and Elizabeth. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. All right. So Clifford from that show and book series. Uh, something like this iconic character. Mm, um, great word. Thank you. Um, repre um, yeah, represents uh, unique friendships. Unique friendships. Man, we make a good team. Yeah, we super do. This, what was the word you said? Um, uh, what did I say? Iconic character? Oh, this iconic dog <laughs> represents unique friendships. Yeah. Which is definitely what Clifford represents. I can't wait to give Clifford some commentary. Beautiful. But yeah. So we're really looking for 
something that grabs someone's attention, someone that says some values of the character, mm -hmm. and then some information about what is your character from? Where have we seen them before? What makes them notable? Mm -hmm. What makes them a character? Mm -hmm. All right, so we are going to meet you guys on Zoom at 2.30 to help you write your own commentary about your float. All right? Can't wait. Sound good? Can't wait to see you guys. Right, we'll see you there. See you soon. Bye, Epic. Bye.